So, you guys big fans of the old farmers markets? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. We've got some great farmers markets in Scotland. Mm -hmm. got great produce. And um, try and go our local one in Stirling as much mm -hmm. as we can. And um, <laughs> it just, it, just the fact that you're buying direct from the producer, yeah, you know? Absolutely, yeah. and, and the difference in quality between some of the stuff you get in the supermarkets is just extraordinary. Oh, no. mm -hmm. The taste, too. You don't know until yeah. you taste the food. You know and farmers mean? markets are getting much better now because mm. it, it was kind of meat at the start, but now you yeah. can buy great fish, you can buy great meat, great veggies. So it's a one stop. Sure. Yeah. Everybody should do it. What about, we've got up to talk about Stirling up there in Scotland, what about down in Dorset? We've got loads of them in Dorset mm -hmm. and, um, and, they, and the amazing thing about them now is that you're getting young families and children going to them, mm -hmm. which is fantastic yeah. because the kids are getting yes, interested well, in Yes, well, she it. said young families and children, even students, ladies and gentlemen. We've got two of them here today who particularly like going off to their farmer's market. Where is it? Well, we're about to find out as you welcome from London, Anna Newell. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we are well going on about it and saying, yeah, fantastic places. Do you like going along? Yeah, of course. It's just the bottom of my road, so... Yeah. Down and this there is in Brighton, days. isn't it? Yes. you're down there in Sussex now. Yeah. And uh, at university? Yep, enjoying it. Lots. Yeah. University Sussex. Oh, no, we'll talk all about that. <laughs> and let's find out whether you've bought any produce from your uh, farmer's market in, uh -huh. in the old bag today. Ooh. Oh. What have we got along here then? Oh, it's a nice fresh tuna. Yeah, nice. a fresh tuna. There's mm. um, a good fishmonger at the open market, mm -hmm. so we have lots of fish from him. Red and green grapes, great snack for at mm. university, and some goat's cheese. Lovely. Do you, do you have that in your bag and sort of dip in there in the middle of a lecture and have a little <laughs> bit of a nibble? <laughs> Hope no one notices. Yeah, of course you do. I think it's fantastic. This is, this is a bistro bag, isn't it? It is. Yeah, yeah, it this is. Was, what has happened to the old tin of beans and the can of lager? Though? I have to treat what... myself sometimes. Yeah, that's it. You tell him, <laughs> love. Progress. And how much did you spend? £7.55. Oh, 5 po. but don't worry Sorry. about that. We can there nibble a few grapes. <laughs> what do you think, my man? That's a lovely bag. It looks very healthy. You know? It mm -hmm. is. Yeah, yeah lovely. We'll yep. do some nice stuff for this. He's already getting ideas. <laughs> there, so yeah, I am. Yeah, all right yeah. then. And you often go along with your partner, your yeah. boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. Go down there. Most oh, days. I wonder what he's got in this bag then. Yeah, we've got in here too. Please welcome from Norfolk, Reuben Blackie. <laughs> Lovely curly hair and everything. What, you originally from Ireland or something like uh, that? From Zimbabwe, it's oh, Zimbabwe. Yeah, hey. That's Zimbabwe. And oh, and wow. That's English, so yeah. I signed up. Look at them eyes, Les. He's got like blue eyes like you, and he's lovely. And he's a lovely boy. He's <laughs> 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 yours, is he, love? Yes, sir. Oh, dear. Sorry, love. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she don't want me to touch her. I don't know. Let's have a look at your bag. All then, right. Uh, yeah, I've got some good stuff in it. Have you? Yeah. Let's have a look. Yeah, Ooh. great. Do you enjoy your food, don't you, big food? Love my food. That's why I like cooking, really, just because I like eating. Yeah. So, well, it don't show to... now. You don't have to worry when you're that age, do you? Right, wait, wait another 20 know. years and we'll start showing. <laughs> what, have what have we got here? Okay. Tell me about this. Lamb. Love lamb. Mm -hmm. It's not too expensive and it's, you know, it's good meat, quite versatile. So I like that. Sweet potato. I grew up on sweet potatoes. Oh, mm. and, uh, sweet yeah, potatoes. Yeah, so, and I eat it really like four or five times a week. Good mm. man. Yeah. Very good for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice. And chilli I can't live without because, mm. uh, well, I just like It's just part of the stable yeah, yeah, diet totally, out yeah. there, isn't it? You get used to the taste, yeah. yeah. Totally so. OK. And there we go. Mm, so you've got feta cheese, banana shallots, tomatoes yeah. and some olives. rather nice uh, old black olives in yeah. there. Mm. Yeah. How much did you spend? It's 7 50 mm. yeah. Good, good, good bit of shopping, eh? Yeah. Put the missus in her place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now out of shopping. Nice what do you shopping think, shopping here. <laughs> Very nice. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Really, really lovely bag. It says lots to very, you. You're a foodie, aren't you? Both yeah. of you, I can see that. It's fantastic. Lovely. There you go. Les is delighted. OK, you get chatting. But oh, first, let's find thinking? out what Nick is going to be cooking for you. Right, OK, I think we're going to do uh, pan fry some of the goat's cheese mm. with black pepper and do that with a grape chutney. Mm. And these black grapes, we'll do a little uh, grape clafouti. Oh, very nice. Um, then with the tuna, we'll make a tuna tartare and make some sort of, uh, maybe a rocket oil to go with that, a little bit of salad. Um, just a tuna teriyaki with an Asian noodle salad. Mm. And I'll do some crispy noodles as well. And there's a little bit of that goat cheese left, we'll stuff uh, the pepper uh, with that as well. And to go with the teriyaki tuna, we'll make a, a, a sort of Asian noodle salad with uh, yes. oranges and sesame oil. That's that. lovely. It sounds sounds great, yeah. Is that good? Happy yeah, with that? Yeah, very. Very good indeed. Real mm. typical student food we have on the programme <laughs> here today, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. And uh, Leslie's got her version of it coming wow. your way now. It's a ginormous sweet potato. Mm. So we're going to do two things with it. One, we're just going to griddle it very simply and do like a hot butter and chilli and lime dressing to go mm. all over it. 
Um, the rest of it we're going to make a frittata. And then with the lamb, I mean, you could just leave it on the bone and just do a very simple stew with it. But what <laughs> we're going to do is sort of Mediterranean-style lamb tart. Okay. Yeah, with loads of mint and feta and onions. Well, that sounds delicious, um, Leslie. And then we're going to do sort of a Greek-style um, salad served with garlic bruschetta with the rest of it. There you go. Uh, How does that sound? Good. Yeah, it sounds delicious. Yeah, yeah, absolutely yeah. delicious, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, oh, well, Anna and Ruben are delighted. I wonder how they'll feel in 20 minutes. We'll find out, as I say, ready, steady, cook. Let's do it. OK, up, up and away. Oh, there we are. Almost lost the onion. We've got some lovely, beautiful ingredients. Bistro bag today, ladies and gentlemen. Fresh tuna that Nick is going to be charring down. He's going to be making a little bit of a tartare with one half. Did Stuffed did peppers with the cheese, pan fried sort of uh, goat cheese there on top of a great chutney, great kafuti, beautiful drizzlings of rocket peppery sauce on top of an Asian salad. Oh, I'm glad what about you Leslie? Know what I'm doing. Lamb in a tart. We've got the uh, sweet potato there with a kind of caramelised chilli um, dressing. Am I right there, Leslie? Yeah, absolutely. Feta cheese. So we've definitely got a Greek salad on the way too. Very quick, nice, simple Greek salad. And um, tomatoes, olives. Whoa. All I can guarantee is that about 10 lovely recipes coming your way in the next 20 minutes. But first, I don't know, I think we're probably going to be talking uh, yeah. about tuna, so we're okay. going to find out a little bit you about this. You can do this. the onion and the grapes yeah. for me, and then I'm going to get you to this mm. batter. Wow. Now, Nick, if you saw a piece of... Stuff out the fridge as well. If you saw a piece of tuna like this, Chef, what would you say? Good. Wow, I get excited. Look at this, yeah. shine on it, and it's beautiful, yeah. and you have a good... Mm. <laughs> Smells of nothing. Yeah. It means it's fresh. Lovely. OK, so that's... that's um, Lovely, lovely piece of tuna. Mm -hmm. What I actually want to do first, though, is get I want to get, on, uh, get my pepper on and okay, uh, get that into the oven. So we're just going to cut this in half down mm -hmm. here. And I love these thin-skinned Romero peppers because they cook really quickly. They only need sort of about ten. A little bit sweeter too, aren't they? Yeah, they're sort of kind of. They're reckoned to be sort of gourmet peppers. Yeah, sort of thin-skinned and sweeter. Lovely. Take out okay. the seeds. Scrape out, the, scrape out those scrape them out. I could scrape yeah, them out. Scrape, 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 scrape them. You. Use your teeth and get in there. No, I'm only really joking. <laughs> Listen, guys, uh, you can see Nick using the back the of the spoon. Nice little tin. Just bang them yeah. in the bin, yeah? There you go. Back of the spoon just to sort of scrape them out. Okay. Same thing applies to chilli sometimes. You want to get your fingers in there and it gets under your nail because that can be a little bit... Uh, Whoa, a lovely rinded mm. uh, goat's cheese. OK. Which is perfect for pan frying. I actually had this idea from Leslie when she came up to the kids' school. She did this dish. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually nicking it uh, off. It was really, really nice. So we're going to cut three little medallions, yeah. which we'll, we'll pepper, and mm. then we'll pan fry, and they sort of melt and go really nice and crispy. Okay. And why do you like the rind on the goat's cheese then? Because it holds the whole thing together. Okay. When they're, when they're in the pan, mm -hmm. the rest of it is going to go in here along with some breadcrumbs. So we're going to yeah. get just a little bit of bread in there. All right, that's going to be lined down Turn there. That off. Mm. So it's just a nice goat's cheese, and we'll put a bit of herb in there as well. Maybe a bit of parsley, I think. Sure. Might put a bit of garlic, a bit of garlic. OK. No, I'm not going to bother with the garlic, actually. There but you go, Chef. Handful of parsley. In that goes. Beautiful, mm -hmm. thank you very much. There you go. And that's, that's going to what? That's very, very quick. Probably not to go inside here, yeah. OK. A little bit of olive oil, just to uh, moisten the whole thing. In here. OK. And this is, this is quite a good sort of stinky dishes, because it makes a little go a long way. All right. And we'll sort of and you'll Hold see together, that. stick it in the peppers, yeah. stick it in the oven. OK, and Drizzle that cheese is going to be pan fried can later. Pan fried, since that pan's hot enough. Seared, beautiful cheese. Pepper, we'll come back and see that. OK. R lots, lots and lots of black pepper on these, OK? OK. And it forms a really nice crust, you'll see once they're, they're done. Lovely. OK, looking forward to seeing that. Let's okay. get down to the Red Tomato Kitchen. Leslie's also making a type of pastry here. We'll find out exactly what she's going to do. Darling. Is this the basis of your tart then, Liz? This is the basis of the tart. Yeah. And it's a very sort of, you know me, rustic style tart. So when, you, when I say mm. tart, don't start thinking, oh no, you've got to start lining and baking blind. The beauty mm. of this is that it's an open style tart. Yeah. So you can do it very, very quickly and easy. This is just a short crust pastry. If you can't be bothered mm. to make it, buy it. Yeah, buy it. Very, you know? very simple to make really, it. Really, really so, good uh, ones. So quantities, four, four, what have you, you got You want about there? eight ounces of pastry, mm. you know, three ounces of butter. Okay. A lot of people I know use lard in their short crust pastry, so mm. it does make it good. It's not particularly makes it that kind great. of a little bit light and crispier, doesn't it? Because yeah. it's, that, that, the heat of the lard is going to get very quite quite intense and yeah. make it a little bit more crunchy. Absolutely. Okay. So we're going to have it, a few olives going in this. All right, and it's plain flour, isn't it? And it's that you've just got in plain there? flour. Although I yeah. do know my grandmother would always make her um, pastry. Pastry, yes, thanks, Ains, mm -hmm. with um, self-raising. So yeah. you know, some people do. Mm. Okay, so we're just going to roll it out now. 
What I want you to do... Oh, you marvellous man. I want you to come over here and crush some olives for me. Just all a few. Right. Add them in, not all of them, because we're going to need some mm. And why are we salad. crushing them? What are we doing, We're then? just kind of getting them going, really, mm. just so that they kind of um, just work into the dish nicely. OK. Um, and what, what I'm going to do with this pastry is just very, very quickly roll it out. I don't worry, it doesn't have to be a perfect shape. Yeah. Um, it, it's as it comes, OK? So just stay with it and just mm. keep rolling it and then That's you want nice to put touch. it onto a lipless baking tray yeah and then what we're going to do is we're not going to put the lamb on yet because i want the lamb to be griddled and nice and pink when okay. it goes on the pie all oh, right do you want yeah. those in there now then the lamb <laughs> uh no i don't okay. want the lamb in there yet so i'm just going to roll this out to about this side the great thing yeah. about these baking trays here Ains. Uh, are you a fan of letting the pastry rest then les or is that if not you've necessary got time that yeah. is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Just want to roll this just a touch more. Mm -hmm. Just check that it's not going to stick, mm -hmm. and then just take the case yeah. and place it straight onto there, like okay. so. Okay. Yeah. So, and then once you've got it onto the tray, you can actually just push it out with your hands a bit. Mm. What I want you to do now, Ruben, is mm. go and crack me an egg in a small bowl and beat it for glaze. Mm. Meanwhile, back at the range, we are just pan frying off some. It's a nice onions. name, Ruben, isn't it? Eh? It's a great name. Yeah. Uh, that's my son's middle name, Ruben. I don't like that. Yeah. It's a cool name. Oh, all right, lovely. Bowl. Right, bowls under there, Ruben. What we're now going to do is just take this lamb. And Ruben, I know that you are a bit of a cook because your mum's written cookbooks, isn't she? Yeah, that's right. My mum's written a couple of books. So, yeah. Okay, I've fantastic. Been, that's kind of why I got into it, I suppose. Just... Yeah. And do you, have, do you have any of those books then? Do you keep any of them? Yeah, my mum's given me the most recent one. Well, the most recent is like five, six years ago. But, uh -huh. uh, but yeah, she's given me the most and recent does it, one. And does it include lots of sort of produce we can get here, or is it very much? Yeah, just because for my dad's sort of um, got an agricultural background, yeah. she kind of tried to write the book as as to use like all the, all the stuff. Of the farm and that yeah. sort of stuff, so you know, it's quite like, yeah, yeah, you know, so lovely but, fresh produce, yeah, yeah, that's definitely. what we keep banging on about. Yeah, nice touch, yeah. absolutely. Okay, well, tell us what you're doing well, here. I then, just want to take if I had time, I'd make um, stock out of these bones, but we haven't. Yeah. Ruben, what I want you to yeah. do is just take the, all the meat away sure. from the bones there for me, okay. Yeah? Which is fantastic. Lovely. Meanwhile, these onions are doing nicely. It's like having the perfect kitchen assistant, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's fantastic. It really is. Get in you there. know, let's get in there. there that go, one there. Nice. Meanwhile, what I've done is I've, I just want to start getting the frittata going. I've started just um, frying off um, sweet potato in mm. chunks and mm -hmm. some in slices because we're going to griddle some and yeah. we're going to put some in a frittata. OK, 13 minutes to go. Things are really moving on here. Yeah. You can see what Leslie's cooked. She's got that pastry which is going to go in. You want that in the oven now, Leslie? Not or? yet. I'm going to do it now. Oh, OK, that's all going to come together and we're going to put sort of sprinkle it with onions. We've got the beautiful bits and of over there. And lots of mint going lots in of there. Lots of fantastic fresh mint. Go on, then. Get that on there. Look at that. So, so simple. That's it. Is this a, a kind tomatoes. of North African type thing, or no, like we've got not really. Tanzania it's, it's, down there, well, if you I don't like? Know, maybe, mm. Keynes. It's kind of. I'm going to put a few tomatoes in there. It's important mm -hmm. that you get that um, uh, the onions starting off to cook because mm. they won't cook, you know. Um, Absolutely. I often say that you've got to blanch them or just yeah. salty them off or something Little like that. Little tomatoes going on mm -hmm. there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just very, very gently just fold the ends in. Yeah, okay. of the pastry like that, okay. going all the way around. Beautiful, nice idea. That's Leslie's uh, dish over there. Let's get back down here. Okay. And uh, we've got 12 minutes to go now, guys. Right. Our chef. Little confetti. Yeah. Just a batter made with eggs and flour and yeah. a little bit of sugar. And, okay. uh, and look at those crumbed ones in there. They look lovely, They're Nick. coming away nicely. Yeah. yeah we've done it actually in two or three minutes. And, uh, uh, and then we just put the grapes inside, the little grape uh, confetti. Mm -hmm. A great idea. Mm -hmm. I don't know where that came from. Grape idea, yeah. Grape right. idea. <laughs> you got to try. you got to try. <laughs> it was good. It was Sometimes good. It was. That's awful. Oh, oh, no, no, it's awful. I'll give you... You've got to try it. <laughs> hey, tell us why you've taken your pan off the heat with those... Right, uh, okay, it was just a little bit too hot. I might actually mm -hmm. slide that back on again yeah. if you can mm -hmm. start up. But you see how they're just starting to melt there? Mm -hmm. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until they start to crisp up and then I'll take them off, let them cool a bit, because if you try and take them okay. off now, they're going to stick to the pan. All right, then. Any particular style, style of... Uh, Goat cheese you've got to use for this, or uh, just as you say with the skin one on. One that's not too ripe. Okay. If they're too ripe, they get really sort of runny, and you're, mm. they're just going to absolutely melt, and you're going to end up with liquid. Mm. But if that does happen, again, the same thing that applies. Take the pan off the heat, let it cool down, and as it cools down, it solidifies. And you get those lovely little crispy bits. Okay. Uh, in there, yeah. so that's nice. Little just put the yeah, it is. together. Okay, not quite ready yet. That that should yeah. sizzle almost straight away. Right. That's really good. So what are you studying at uh, Sussex? I do geography that's and Dunning, development. That's them done, by the way. Mm -hmm. So just to show you. See when they start bubbling up like this inside? Oh, yeah. That's them done. It's oozing out. So we'll just take that off. 
and let it cool Okay, down. nice little tip there, guys. The chef said as it rises, it's almost like a little uh, souffle kind of rise that comes out of the middle because you've got the skin around the edge. Time to take them off. Perfect tip. Yeah, so study, you say geography and...? Development studies. Ah, yeah. and how's that going? Yeah, very well. Um, my dad did geography at university as well, mm -hmm. so a helpful hand and when I'm not sure what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah good that's fun. good. I suppose when you had all your geography homework. Yes. Dad, <laughs> it's easy, isn't it? All the, all the answers and everything. Yeah, and we there. always had atlases and stuff like that when we were mm. little, so, yeah, yeah. it's good fun. Yeah, yeah oh, lovely. Do you, want to, do you want to do something quite cool? Yes. Right, take that handful of noodles, OK? Yeah. And just carefully drop them into this pan here, OK? All right, have you got something to take them out with uh, afterwards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK. Yeah. Right, do, like that. OK. Yeah. I do about half of them, actually. Mm. About half of them, OK? There you go. Right, just drop them in. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. There you go. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Look, look at that. Beautiful. Crispy noodles. There you Just go. Just a little bit like a... So, so you know, quick. The last time I did this, I got a round of applause. <laughs> but... Fantastic. And, and do them again. And yep. what he forgot to tell you was that he was at home in his own kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I got the kids, got them all round. Come on, kids. Appreciation for all Dad. The kids. Hey, Dad's done noodles. <laughs> 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 Fantastic. Yeah. Very, very impressive. You can serve okay. it. All, and he's probably going to boo that lovely That's Asian salad. Yeah, over there. Yeah, yeah very nice there. indeed. And I would say this oil, hot so, oil, so, so watch your back. We'll put this out of the mm. way. Mm. Down in there. Lovely. So what type of things do you cook at home, then? You, obviously, you're exposed to these lovely sort of fresh farmer's markets. Or... Yeah. Well, we get uh, there's a really good um, fishmonger down there. Mm. We get a lot of fish from him. Mm. And um, there's a Turkish Ooh. shop just around the corner, so we get a lot of bread. And it's all made with oil, so for students, it lasts. A good week and a bit, yeah. rather than oh. five, six days. Brilliant! That's yeah. lovely. And and you go shopping with Ruben? Yeah. Yes, we found my other housemates as well. Oh, all right. So all, all, all gang go down there. <laughs> and what, a, what a fantastic feeling! All go shopping together. Back to a sort of old style of doing things. Well, we usually share ingredients as well, mm. so saves us buying two. You don't share things. Reuben, though, do you? <laughs> no. No. Kick and, and talk at the same time. You, you don't okay. want to share your Reuben. She keeps you, uh, keep, keeps you all to herself. So, uh, how did you guys meet then? Um, well, actually, it was at Geography Breakfast. Yeah. But um, a couple of weeks later, Ruben phoned me from campus and said, I've lost my course outline. Can I come and get yours? Because I lived on campus. And um, so he came round and got it. And then we went out for a drink with my friends. Mm. And it was only when we were finally together that he told me he really did have it in his bag and just wanted an excuse to come round. So. Oh, Ruben, Mr. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> did it work? Yeah, it worked, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All the other students out there saying, that's what I'm going to do now. <laughs> that's the way to get them. But that's fantastic. OK, Nick, tell us briefly about how you cook this. And it's on a pretty high heat. It's spitting. Yep. It will, a lot of people will be put off by that. So how do you avoid it? Um, don't put quite as much oil in as I did there. Okay. <laughs> He's honest, though, isn't Probably, he? He's very, uh, very honest. It's prevent good. that. Just making up the tuna tartar here in. So we've got okay. finely chopped red onion, we've got the mm. diced up tuna, a little bit of soy, a little bit of sesame oil. Okay. And then, as we always know now, the acid from the lime juice will okay. actually start to cure okay. the, uh, the tuna and mm -hmm. it'll start to go opaque. Just All I need in here is just a little bit of. Uh, um, Chopped coriander. And that's okay, the, guys, you heard what the, the chef said. The acidity from the lime juice or lemon juice, that's going to start to sort of cook that a little bit. It's a form of Take cooking. All right, don't be put off by okay. that. You yeah. do need to use really fresh tuna for it, but it's, it's well worth it. It's a fantastic taste, and I'm sure that Anna will try that a little bit later on. Okay, we've got the great chutney here, cooking down, what is it, sugar, vinegar? Just sugar, vinegar, chilli, uh, a little bit of seasoning, and mm. the half grapes, and they go there. Okay, and so there it is. OK, yep, they just need to cook down until they start to sort of fall to bits and that's OK, them. That's and that'll be time. an absolute perfect time. OK. OK. okay. No, the tuna's just about... Woo! Nice to see it up there. Yeah. Did you see that, Ruben? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've only had one. A bit of soy in here. Yeah. OK. And then a bit of honey. The whole thing's going to glaze. Yeah. OK. You'll get that lovely... Sticky kind of coat on the outside. Okay. And do we just take it off now? Yes, yeah, off the heat, and it's yeah, just okay. going to sit and it's going to absorb. Are you picking all up the, some tips here? I am. I am. Okay. Well, really okay. Well. Lovely. Well, well, we've got about six minutes to go. Okay. With all little, sorts of things. We see some fabulous things down there. Things. Let's have a look at Leslie's tart. There you go, everybody. Absolutely beautiful. The lamb's going to gonna be in. presented on top of there. And uh, we've got a bit of a frittata, I think, going on there. Yeah, all that's sorts with of the lovely rest, things. It was such a big sweet potato, you know. Okay, uh, let's lose that, my darling. Oh, Here's okay. our coriander. Yeah, um, yeah. You want coriander in there too, Leslie? No, no, or just I mint? Want coriander. 
coriander in the butter, in okay. the chilli butter, please. Okay, coriander in chilli butter. There you go. Okay. And you want some mint yeah, going in there. Have you got mint? Yeah, I'll find you some. Don't oh, worry. Yeah, We've definitely it. got it there. There we yeah, are. Yeah, That's yeah. it, my man. Just chop that up and throw that okay. in there. OK. Fantastic. Mm. Ruben. So, Ruben, uh, what are you yes. studying? Uh, same as Anna. So, you yeah. for and development studies. Oh, is that what you always wanted to do? or? No, um, I started off doing computers, which... Um, was that a bit did, dull, was yeah, it? Yeah, it wasn't really my thing. I did a year of it, and then I decided to take a, um, another gap year. I'd yeah. had a gap year before, so I took another wow. one. Wow. Obviously, what, my parents do too. What do they think about your parents? Yeah, they give me a bit of a ribbon, you know. They like to tell their friends that I'm, I'm specialising in, in gap years, you know. I'm, I'm doing a degree in them, but... <laughs> That's what happens sometimes, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know why I'm putting salt in there. You've got the feta in there. That's just me yeah. seasoning things. <laughs> Lovely. And what do, you, what do you do with your spare time? Do you kind of help out other students? Yeah, or? I'm quite sort of Mr. Extra Curricular these days. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I wasn't really like that. School's never in school teams or anything yeah. like that. But uh, these days, I'm, I'm, my housemates give me... They also tease me about it. I've gone to... Like, I do windsurfing, do mm. a bit of rock climbing and photography club. And um, I help out at a youth centre in Brighton as well, teaching little kids how to skateboard. Oh, because, really? Yeah, Are you a good skateboarder? Good. I'm all right, yeah. They're going to love you for that. Yeah. So, you know it's, yeah. it's a bit of a concrete jungle, this Sussex University, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. It's just big slabs of concrete everywhere down there. It's a brilliant university inside, but on the outside, it looks a bit like a real yeah, one of those yeah, 60s it definitely is one of those. projects that they just built because they said, <laughs> we've got loads of students, get it up. Yeah, you know, yeah. quite incredible. That's lovely that you've uh, dedicated a lot of your time to the kids. Yeah, it's fun and it's really good. Yeah. Isn't it? It's, yeah, mm. it works well, you know, it gives them somewhere to go, you know. Sure. Oh, absolutely. Do you, do, you, do you remember your student life, Liz? Oh, it was a long time ago, Ains. Oh, yeah, go on. <laughs> there you go. Hey, what's it now? Oh, no, we like that. I'm just sliding it back in again. Ruben, wash yes. that up quickly for me, my oh, darling. Oh, darling. Do you like when the girls shout at you, Ruben? Um, sometimes. Yeah? <laughs> this lamb is now ready, Ains. So OK. It still be nice and thick. OK. I'm Allow just... it to rest, very important. Yeah, absolutely. Let it just rest a bit. I'm just going to splash okay. just a tiny bit of wine in there. OK, Les. Beautiful. Oh, didn't she do that beautifully? Like That's it. Done. Lovely. Mm. Look at all of these. And these are nearly these ready over. to serve up. Mm. Oh, they are ready. Mm. They're lovely, Les. Right, OK. Lovely so flavour. OK, I'm just really coming now, along here. What, what I think is nice, Reuben, can you get a big spoon for me, my darling? Yeah, yes. one big. I'll go a for you, Les. So, so have you been to Tanzania? Have you stack. taken your missus back home yet? Yeah, we went to Tanzania last year. Well, she's done it a year there before as well. Um, yeah. So we went there. She's able to speak the language quite well, so really. So, yeah. And I picked up a little bit. Of, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So she speaks the language better than you, and it's your hometown? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. So, more or less, so... <laughs> So Impressive. she gets you around. Yeah, she no, uh, That's gets, the only reason he's going out with you. <laughs> she gets it's a not discount. because you're gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, what you like. OK, ladies and gentlemen, about one and a half minutes coming up. Let's get back down here. We're in the... Uh, oh, look at that. Look at the rareness just inside there. A little yes. touch of pinkness. Very nice indeed. Okay. Remember, he said outside the soy and the honey finished that off. And boy, it smelled good. There you go. <laughs> oh, right, right now. Yeah, We've what got, about that goat cheese? Coming up in a minute, yeah. any moment now. Ooh. Mm, what do you want to do when ah. you leave? Do you know yet? Yes. Do some more travelling, go somewhere exciting. Yeah? Yeah. Just Why travel not? with your man. If he's still here. Oh, there you go. All right, then, look at that. See, that, that's the way they go. They got that beautiful kind of crust on the outside. Yes, I can see exactly what you're doing. And, if and you if need something stuck, to get right underneath. Yeah, just a little flexible uh, spatula that's perfect. And then they are just so, really so simple. brilliant. A little bit with of grape chutney going really in the middle there. Spicy uh, grape chutney mm -hmm. in the centre in here. Yeah. Lovely combination. Real simplicity, ladies and gentlemen. Always giving you lots of tips here on Ready, Steady, Cook. Yes. My tip for the audience time. now is much. that they are voting for what the chefs did with the ingredients they're given. Think about that, guys, before you vote. Mind All sorts of wonderful food, food going on here. Has it inspired yes, you enough? Lamb. All over. right, then. Lamb's, lamb's lamb going on over. top there. Lovely bits of feta cheese just cascading on the top of that lamb inside that tart. Looking particularly nice. <gasps> OK. Sweet potato yeah. drizzled with a gorgeous bit of chilli oil. All very, very important stuff like that. All right, here we go. Time is of the essence now, guys. Mmm, looking good. 20 seconds to go. Let's get this food out. Nick's also got yeah. the clafouti in the oven, Chef. Nice. Don't forget that. Yeah. OK. Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Of 
lovely dishes here, ladies and gentlemen, and all prepared in a matter of 20 minutes. But what did our chef start with? Let me remind you. Nick Nairn had a beautiful tuna steak, some rice noodles, Romero pepper, goat cheese, rocket, grapes and red onion. Whilst Leslie Walters had lamb loin chops, sweet potatoes, feta cheese, vine cherry tomatoes, green and red chilies, black olives and banana shallots. Oh, yes, missus. Well, I think our chefs have done an absolutely fantastic job here for the students. And uh, do you normally eat food like this every <laughs> night, Anna? Well, I'd like to say yes, but no, I don't. Not at all. You get stuck in it. It looks you. so, so yummy. What are you going to call this, chef? Um, your marks, university, will rock it <laughs> with this Ed Tunacational fish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> OK, bring that forward, Nick. Let's have a little bit of a look at that. Right, OK. So, we're starting off with the, 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 the tartar tuna. So that's just dunny stop tuna, raw. Mm. Um, I didn't put any salt in this, okay, because you're, like me, low salt diet. Or just don't take too much salt. So just a little bit of soy sauce, the chopped red onion, some fresh coriander, lime juice, sesame oil, and uh, just leave it to marinate. So it's Verdict. Just, it's Absolutely gorgeous. There you um, go. A lot of people knock the old fresh mm. fish. You can make this, guys. Look on our if website. If you've got tuna that, that is that fresh and that yeah. good, this is perfect way of okay. using it. This is just the stuffed peppers cut in half. We made a stuffing. All that is is just the goat's cheese, breadcrumbs, and parsley. Whizzed up in the food processor, into the peppers, a little drizzle of olive oil. Ten minutes in a good hot oven so mm. the peppers cook through with a little rocket salad dressed with olive oil and uh, balsamic vinegar. Mm. This is a, a clafouti batter, so it's just eggs, self-raising flour. Whisk them up until they're nice and thick. Mm. A teaspoon of sugar in there, and then enough milk to, to taste oh, the consistency of double cream. And then you just drop in the fruit, in this case it's the grapes, and bake in a hot oven for 15 nice. minutes. And the grapes just burst when they go in your mouth? This okay. is fantastic. This is Leslie's. She, she did this dish at the, uh, at the cook school, and I was just knocked out by it. I really mm. thought it was just such a clever thing. Mm. Because you get this lovely, crispy bit in the bottom, so it's just a hot pan. Put the, uh, uh, the, uh, the goat's cheese in. Did I do it right? You did it better mm. than me. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. And then leave it in the pan to, 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 so it sets. So yeah. You can lift it back out again. And the grape chutney is just uh, white wine vinegar, uh, sugar, chilli, uh, and the grapes. And cook it down until it's really sort of soft and mushy and spicy. Mm. And then we cook some of the noodles uh, in water, drain them, toss them in soy, sesame oil, lime juice, and then red onion, uh, uh, a bit of honey, and the oranges through there. Just toss up the sort of, uh, Oriental salad, some chilli mm. through it. And then teriyaki tuna, teriyaki tuna, which is the hot pan, and that was soy and honey and lime juice. And ah, you're out of time, mate. That's noodles. it. I know. Really a lot. What do you think? It's absolutely gorgeous and so easy as well. I know. And Nick, well done. It all looks really, really lovely and yummy. Well done. Yeah. You enjoy eating it. I will. It. Oh, time was running away with us there, but it's your turn mm. now, Reuben. So you get stuck in, pick oh, up your cutlery, nice. have a bit of a go. Straighten mm. your gob. Go on, my man. <laughs> uh, what are you going to call this, Les? <laughs> That's my man. Um, well, I had vine tomatoes and feta, among many other things. I think we should call this a vine achievement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did brilliant, Reuben. Um, wow, and what lovely. we did here was, um, first of all, we made some pastry, and then we made this sort of rustic tart, and the lamb is just still pink, and we put it on very mm. towards the end. Reuben rubbed it with garlic. Yeah, it's it. probably... Try that mm. lamb and get in there with a bit of that yeah. pie with the lamb going on there. Get your, it's probably yeah. best to get your fork under there. What a simple and we rolled, idea. And we rolled out the pastry, mm. panned off the onions with the olives, mm. with loads of mint, put that on the base, mm. and then basically Reuben, we folded it in, he did an egg wash, we glazed the edge, whacked it in the oven, mm. and then we cooked the lamb at the last minute, a little bit of more feta and olive oil on the top. Very, very simple. What do you think, Reuben? Mm. Mm. Is it exquisite? Yeah, it's lovely. Mm. Sweet potatoes, we just slice them, leave the skin on the sweet potato, and then we did a chilli type of butter here mm. with the chilli. Um, it's probably... It's not too hot, actually, Go Reuben. On, open it up, Liz. Um, Let's have a look at that beautiful Chilli butter orange with coriander and lime. Um, and then and we parboiled the slices of sweet potato and then put them into a griddle pan with some mm. olive oil and then just griddled them. Mm. It's just a different way of doing them. Here we've got a frittata, and then here, classic but lovely, is just the simple Greek salad, mm. feta, tomato, olives, loads of mint, um, and loads of parsley, lemon, olive oil, really simple. But what's nice is you've served it on the bread there, and it makes and it... it just like, goes yeah, in, It's finger food in. then, doesn't it? Absolutely. It becomes instantly sort of uh, approachable. You just want to get in there. What do you think overall? Yeah, really? it's working really, really nice. I like the way that the sweet potato is something I don't, wouldn't normally do something, mm. so, because I eat it quite a lot, it's nice to have a different, different approach on it. So. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what we're Thanks here for. Much. Trying to give everybody, not only Reuben and Anna, but you guys at home too, different styles of ways of cooking, different styles of food. Well, what about our studio yeah. audience? Is it going to be a green That's pepper day or red tomato? Let's find out as we ask them all to please vote now. 
And up they go. And have a look at this. It is close, guys. It is close. But there's a few more. Congratulations, my darling. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for spending money there for you. Thank you so much. Good luck. Good luck with your calls. I hope it all goes really, really well for you. Yeah, me Picked too. Picked up a couple of ideas here for Great you. Great ideas. Nick. Yeah, well done. Yeah, Pleasure thank you so much. Well done. And uh, Ruben, hey. I think you should be inspired too, because Leslie's producing wonderful food for you, yeah? Definitely, Okay, definitely. and you take home a lovely release really called Hamper. Oh, right. You can get out in the good. kitchen and do it. Show us how you shake it, Rube. Go on. That's why <laughs> Anna loves him. That's why Anna loves him. Come on, come over here. It's pretty bad time. Oh, yeah. Thank you to Anna and Ruben. <laughs> Now, what have we got in here? What can our chefs Ooh. do with this little lot? Well, yeah. here you go. We've got some of these little old croissant, croissant things. You can just great. roll up. They're great. You can stuff them with mm. sausages. Well, I've got, we've got the sausages there, mustard and all sorts of things. I don't like those type of things. I don't want to give too much away, though. Uh, a couple of really nice apples. Roasted peppers in a jar, red onion, and as I said before, ladies and gentlemen, some sausages. So, what are you going to do with this little ones, guys? Leslie, you first. You first. Okay. I would do, I would do um, apple strudels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, using the croissant dough and the apples. I would do meatballs, spicy meatballs in like a red pepper, garlic, and basil broth. Mm -hmm. And I would also with these do quick, really fast oven pizzas with um, with the pepper and poached eggs and lots of herbs. Mmm, sounds good, doesn't it? Hey, let's Very see nice. if our Nick can beat that. Go on, Nick. Well, um, I, I think I would do a, a pastry and apple thing, but instead of a strudel, I'd do a tartan. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, so caramelised apples with a, with a puff pastry. And I've got to do sausage rolls. Sausage yeah. rolls yeah. with onion marmalade. Great. And then, and then like, I, I think my mum used to pop us casseroles. The mm. casserole with the, uh, the uh, sausages and, and apple and the peppers. Mm. So a nice kind of hearty kind of yeah. peasant dish. Mm. Lovely. That's what we like. Lots of different choices. Something to confuse our studio audience. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> look at them all there. What's it going to be? Green peppers, red tomatoes? I don't know. Help me out. Will you all please vote now? And there they go. Oh, look at this, eh? Hey, one. Nick. Nick, I've got to say something to you, mate. Really? The memories of your mum's delicious casserole will have to stay in your memory oh. banks because oh. it's a Leslie Walters <laughs> bag. Let's get cooking. <laughs> Okay, you're right there, Let me help you with some of that stuff. All right, watch your jar. All right, now, ten okay. minutes cooking time starts now. Let's do it, Leslie. Right, what can Nick, we do for you? Okay, so first of all, at Ains, I want you to make little tiny meatballs out of these. Do you want me to do the these. pizza? I want you to do the pizza so right, we need to get fine. that open. Okay. okay. Take a bit of the sausage, some of the peppers. Ains, if you can also get a broth going. Okay. Yeah, I'll get your pan on. Nice. Maybe we can liquidise it at the end so it's bright red and lush with the meatballs going in. Yeah? What do you want, a broth, did you say? Yeah, a kind of like a, um, a sauce, really, a brothy sort of sauce, mm -hmm. yeah, to go for the meatballs. Okay, yeah? OK. <laughs> All right. Basic um, bit of onion in there, Les, bit, bit of garlic. Bit of onion, bit of garlic. Oh yeah, maybe a bit of paprika. OK, yeah. So you make it yep. really nice Spice and rich. Spice it up nicely. Spice it up nicely. And have you opened that up? There we go. Right. OK, let's have so, a look. Will I take that for the pizza? No, mm. hang on, how many have you got here? I think I you've got, got four, Liz. Hang on a sec, Nick, you might just... I'll tell you what, just give me one back. Right, and what okay. you can do is you can actually... If you fold it over and you can roll it into the shape for your pizza that you need, OK? I'm, I'm, I'm on the case. Right, all right. There you so go. Oh, it's all happening now. OK, sausage meat in here. Yeah, let's do you want me to use the all the salt? You said to Nick no, you wanted Nick to... No, Nick needs a little bit of the salt. Ains, can I just move oh, yeah, that you just, you just push me along, Sorry, darling. Darling. I like when you push me around, Liz. <laughs> <laughs> Especially okay. in the kitchen. Oh, dear. <laughs> all right, so... OK, tell us about here. this idea of these very quick apple strudels, then. Well, I, do you know, I love apple strudel. When I, years ago, when I worked in Germany, when I used to finish the end of a shift, I used to go off and have coffee and apple strudel in, in the coffee houses in Germany. Yeah. And um, I must Whole have put on just... yeah, I do, don't you? I... an awful lot of weight while I was there. Yeah. Um, but you it gained was a lot of weight. I gained a, an awful lot of weight while oh, I was there, no, but I love Liz. strudel. Making yeah. strudel dough is something that I would love to do on the programme, but it just takes too long to show you. Mm -hmm. But it's great fun, and they say that strudel should be so thin that you can read your love letters through it. Ooh. Not that I ever get any of those Ooh. these days. 
Um, well, that could change, Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> right, do you want any do you want any egg to buy this or just straight in the pan? I think just straight in the I pan. I don't think we haven't got the we time don't, really. We don't have need we? anything in there, Ains, okay, really, lovely. do we? Right, yeah? no, I, don't, I think you're probably right um, there. Um, and I'm oil. not because these apples are really, really nice, I'm not going to take the skins off the apples. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I mean, actually, even in the red pepper stew, let me get your pan on for that. Okay, um, yeah, whack that there. We could put a bit of apple in because apple and red pepper and um, onion is rather nice actually together. Apple is is um, gorgeous um, used with tomatoes and peppers. It works really, really well. Okay, Pizza. let's find out a little bit about Nick's uh, pizza. Tell us what you're doing there, Nick. Okay, I've rolled out the pastry eggs and uh, uh, with a little bit of flour. Put on a baking sheet, stuck it in a hot oven, mm -hmm. and I'm just making a topping now. So that's a little bit of olive oil yeah. in with the chopped up sausage, the onion, the apple, and I'm just going to cook everything down. Mm -hmm. And then I'll take the uh, the base back out again. A little bit of tomato uh, ketchup in there. Just bind this together. Ketchup. Ketchup's always a good one. Put yeah. This, put it back mm. on the top, and then stick it back in the oven again. Okay. He's giving us a, back, a bit of apple here. <coughs> so Leslie, just want the. Uh, uh, Onion chopped up and popped into yeah, the. Yeah, just popped into the. And just get those peppers in, a bit of red wine, and then we can kind of blitz it for those balls to go in. So I give these a bit of a, a turn there for you. Okay, my darling. They're looking good. They're looking very, very good. I'm going to add just a little bit of brown sugar yeah. into these, like so. Mm -hmm. So, like little apples there. And then I'm just going to take the beaten egg because I'm going to need the beaten egg there uh -huh. to kind of like I need a pastry brush Nick you've got a pastry brush there baby you've not got one over there oh uh, yeah here we go uh, thank you got one Ains. it's all okay. right got one lovely and I'm just going to now just roll these up okay. like so because I want to get my custard on actually I'm going to get these onions frying quick really quick you want a bit of garlic in there too don't you yeah darling? absolutely okay just All right, we've got a quickie question. Um, how, how are you uh, feeling about answering this, Nick? You happy? Yeah, cool, no problem. OK, we've got a quickie question, Fire I'm away. sure. Hit this is a... Uh, I'd probably say this is one of the easier questions our chefs I have to ask, and this is from Sarah Bromley. No disrespect to you, of course, Sarah, because some people just don't know. What is the real difference between shepherd's pie and cottage pie? I hear lots of different explanations. Take it away, Nicholas. Well, the, uh, the answer is in the name. Shepherds look after sheep, lamb, so shepherd's pie is made with minced lamb. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and what do um, cottages look after? Cottages look <laughs> after uh, <laughs> beef. <laughs> uh, I'm not right, I don't know why the, uh, the, the, uh, the cottage one is beef, but that's what they are. So shepherd's pie with, with lamb and cottage pie with beef. Any particular way that you like to make your shepherd's pie then? Because it's slightly sweeter meat, isn't it? Yeah, I like to make it really nice and rich. Um, so um, I put a bit of tomato puree in, a little bit of red wine and some nice uh, rich stock in there when I'm cooking. Some people like carrots, some people don't. OK. Les, what about your cottage pie then? Tell us, I'm going to just drain Ooh, these off. cottage pie. Uh, I'll tell you what, I really like a sort of Mexican-style cottage pie. Okay. You know, so you make like a chilli con carne uh -huh. with the beans and the chilli. And oh, then you yeah. do like a spicy mash for the top. Oh, wow. So you can kind of, you know... Do, uh, do it with a bit of a twist, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, that's quite fun. And obviously, you know, the more chilli you put in, the better. Yeah. Um, and I'll tell you another thing you can do, Ains. Yes. It sounds a bit odd. When you make your Mexican chilli for, uh, for your shepherd's pie, is, or your cottage pie, whatever you want to call it, um, if you add the winciest, I mean really small amount, yes. of dark bitter chocolate yeah. at the end, yeah? But that's very um, Mexican though, isn't it? Yeah. And Cocoa in the, and all their things that they do. Yeah, but it's really, really nice because when you eat it, the chocolate just kind of enriches it. You don't have it and think, whoa there, Yeah. you know, um, chocolate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it just enriches it. Next time you make a chili, try it. Just the smallest amount, about, you know, sort of... 15 grams okay. and of you've got really a... good quality chocolate. Okay, there you go. Always add those things and we've got uh, two and a half I need minutes a whisk. to go. I need a whisk. So make that quickest custard that you okay, can, Les. Okay, my darling. I put it cheated, actually. I put okay, do you want to hit this with a bit of balsamic, Les? Yeah, yeah, go for it. And there's a liquidizer there if you want to liquidize it. Um, yeah, I might do. I might get that to that stage. <laughs> Um, I'll put a bit of, I think a bit of sage would be quite nice I in there. I think sage would be really beautiful. These little strudels are nearly... Ready now, I'm just going to get a little bit of okay, extract going lovely. into the custard. Right and we can then. start clearing the decks. With two minutes, tell us about how you made that custard, Liz. OK, um, egg yolks, and I cheated by putting a little bit of um, cornflour in. 
Yeah. And also some sugar going in there. Okay. Mix together the egg yolks, the corn flour, and a little bit of the sugar, hot milk, vanilla extract, and you're going. Oh, it's all coming together, isn't it? It's eh? all coming together. I need a that lid on that just to bring it up to the boil very quickly. I should mix it all the time, but I haven't got time. Okay. And I'm going to take those out. Okay, one and a half. Let's get this done. Here we are, Les. They're right, there. Right, they're there. Okay. okay, fantastic. I need some cinnamon. Cinnamon, okay, remember, guys, you, you don't need to deep fry these. We're obviously under pressure here. You with can the time pack, you can just uh, you can pop them into the oven. Pop them into you? the oven, yeah. All absolutely. Right, then. All of that's uh, there, if you want them. Let's okay. Clear the decks. Nick's pizza's just come out. That's looking Great, good. How's it going, Nick? There we are. Boil, baby, boil. Everybody shout, boil, baby, boil. Get the lid on. Get the lid on. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> All right, shut up. Yo, woo, woo. <laughs> Right, Ains, this is your serving dish, darling. OK, you want so me to blitz thinning. this up, If you? you've got time, if not, it's just as it is. It'll be pretty okay, we'll good. OK, we'll try and get it in here. As it is. All oh, right, then, here Where's we are. Where's that sifter? Semi-blitzed. OK. Here we are. All right, let's go in. Here we are. All right, Liz. All right, what's next, love? Custard. OK, Where's we've got a little bit of this for a bit of garnish around the edge there. I'll just get a few of these. Right, let's go. Come in, come in. Pizza. Brilliant. A little bit of pizza. Brilliant. Can I help? I think okay. about there. Okay, we're there. Okay. What's that? I need a bit more olive oil. It needs to be a bit thinner. A bit thinner, chef. Go on, go, on. go for it. Ah! Nine, eight, eight seven, six, six, five, four. There you go. Look at this. Now, Liz, <laughs> what about a name for these, my darling? Cook a thrill do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, lovely. I didn't know where that came from. That's interesting. Tell us what we did here, Leslie. Right, OK, so we unravelled the croissant dough yeah. and Nick took some, and he'll tell you what he did in a moment. I kind of rolled it out a little bit more, chopped up the apple, brown sugar, used egg wash and sort of folded them up into mm. big sort of croissants, but used the egg wash to kind of stick it together, deep fried, and then made a vanilla custard. Oh, Over to lovely. You. Well, you've got the, the literally the sausage balls there, which are lovely and brown there. And literally, all I did was just take the meat from the sausage, make them into little balls and lovely. fried them off. I put a little pinch of cayenne pepper in there just to spice them up a bit, made that beautiful pepper sauce. You saw the onions went in there, the garlic went in there. Just cooked that down, a few bit of, bit of sage. Come on, Nick, come and have a bit of a try. And I've just drizzled those peppers on the top. What was that green sauce there? Was that? That's just a little bit of basil oil. Like a beautiful sauce. pesto. You should put it on here, which is beautiful. Yeah, mm -hmm. so what we did with this, we just rolled out the uh, puff pastry. Did you stick, um, did you just use one just triangle? one square, and, that's, and then roll it really nice and thin into the oven, and uh, and then yeah. I just fried off the uh, the sausages with some of the onion and the Ooh. apple, uh, put a bit of tomato ketchup in there, to bind the whole thing together onto the top, poached yeah. the egg, made the little basil oil. It's fantastic. Brilliant. Ooh. Well, there you go. Are you enjoying yourself, Nick? Having a wonderful time, Nick. <laughs> yeah, I think he is. I certainly hope you've enjoyed yourself too, ladies and gentlemen, and we've inspired you a little bit to get out in the kitchen and have a go. See you soon on Ready, Steady, Cook. Bye-bye. Mm. <laughs>